we are officially on 10,000 subscribers, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi from your new favorite South African YouTuber. My name is Palissa M and welcome to this brand new vlog. So again, I'm starting the vlog in the car. Like I've realized I do a lot of vlogging in the car and yeah, it is what it is. Um, so it is a Thursday morning and as you can hear from my raspy voice, I am sick again. Um, guys, I just want to put let me put the car off so I can talk to you guys so um, I've been getting sick like frequently right and when I go to the doctor the doctor then says it's like flu -y symptoms and stuff so we treat for flu but yesterday um, or well Monday when I started feeling off I went to the doctor and again she was like no it's like flu season and there are lots of variants of flu and we started treating that but i experienced shivers like the worst shivers ever um i went to bed that night um and it was sunday night sunday night when i got the shivers i put on my gown i had winter pajamas i had a vest inside i put on a normal pair of socks and then i put on those thick winter winter warmer socks um we had two blankets in the bed uh, I put the electric blanket up all the way to three, but still I was shivering throughout the night. So Monday morning I went to see the doctor. Um, she gave me medication, took the medication on Monday and Tuesday. And then I uh, woke up yesterday, which was Wednesday, and I still was not feeling okay. So I decided to go back, but this time around I saw a different doctor. And when she examined me, um, they, they went up my nose and to look up what's in my nose, this ear, which is my right ear, was red. So she looked at the right sinus and lo and behold, all this time I've been showing flu symptoms and we've been treating flu symptoms, but I have an infection in my, in the, my right sinus and it is so bad that there is pus in there. I'm sorry if that's graphic for some of you. But yeah, my right sinus was filled with pus and it wasn't draining. So I have a sinus draining issue. And she gave me a new prescription with the right medication. But she also said because I was feeling so off and she could see in my eyes I was tired. And yeah, she gave me an injection and pills right there at the doctor's clinic. And I felt immediately better, honestly. I came home, I slept and stuff. I am feeling better, but the right side of my nose is completely blocked and my right ear is also blocked like i can hear but there's like that foam thing so i need to pop my right my right ear there we go um yeah so my sinus is draining but there is still pus in my nose i've been advised to blow my nose as frequently as i can i'm rinsing out with saline zama said to drink lots of fluid and bed rest so i've been in bed the whole week and yeah, I just need to get out, get some fresh air. So I'm heading to Caltex in one sunny hill. Um, our friends are having a little event there. They own that garage. And she was like, I should come through, take some pictures for them. And, you know, enjoy the vibe. Because there is a rugby game. Springbok, the Springboks are playing um, against Wales. And it's happening here in Bloom. So they have a little thing going on with OFM. And I was like, well... Let me go out um, for an hour or two and be with the people and then come back and get into bed because, yeah, I need some air. I am so sorry this intro is so long-winded, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. I am not wearing makeup, just lopped on that my new favorite wig because I was not feeling like looking to do because when I come back, I'm just going to change into my house clothes and, yeah, sleep. But anyway, we are well on our way to 10K. Please get me to 10k before my birthday, which is like in two weeks. Um, yeah, I, I need to get to 10k for my birthday so I can have a nice little giveaway for you guys. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Hey loves, welcome back. So, I thought the event was yesterday. The event is actually today and this is why I look the way I look. 
we are at the Caltech's first stop on Sunny Hill and yeah I've started taking some pictures I'm doing some video work as well um, I'm a little late because I was filming like a get ready with me for this hair and this makeup which you will see on my channel soon but yeah I'll let you guys in with a bit of snippets and things but oh a girly looks gorgeous hey this girly looks gorgeous as per usual but anyway I'm feeling a lot better and yeah man I'm ready to work Why not? Why not? Studying Africans. Why not? We'll bring your friend now. She's in the back. <laughs> yeah, take us. Oh yeah, I can see you too. Are you ready to work? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to work. Anyway guys, so we are still working at um, Caltex in one sunny hill, still doing like the springbok vibe. Hey guys, I got a wig from the lovely people at Berry's Fashion Hair and they sent me a gorgeous colored wig. It is a 99J wig and it is a 12 inch bob wig unit and I just want to show you guys this hair so this hair is super soft i have experienced no shedding i haven't worn it yet but this is what it looks like it's a frontal wig and this is the color of the hair very bouncy and flowy and full i think so this is what it looks like i'm going to try it on with you guys and explain to you why i'm going to be doing the tutorial with this hair okay so this is what the hair looks like the hair is a little bit too bright for my liking like it's more on the reddish side than it is on the burgundy side which is what most 99j wigs look like and honestly i don't feel like it suits me i don't know like it's too bright for me type of situation i hope you get what i'm saying so I am going to tone this down with hair dye and I'm going to show you guys the entire process of doing that. I prefer the hair darker and that is what I am going to do with this hair. But yeah, stay tuned, stick around. What are you having? 
noodle. Mmm, delicious. Are they yummy? I was trying out my new lens let me tell you the whole story child so we are officially on 10,000 subscribers okay 10,000 subscribers reached officially on the 25th of July I thought it was gonna happen on my birthday but you know I'm still grateful it happened but anyway so to celebrate I bought the channel a new lens and it is the lens that I am filming with right now. Like, check that quality, child. So, yeah, I just got um, an EF mount adapter, which is this baby. And then I also got the lens. Let me find the picture for you guys. I got um, a little celebrity gift for the channel. Now, this lens is heavier than the kit lens that came with my camera. And as you can see... It's got like that blurred background. So I think this is going to be my lens for shooting sit downs and some B-roll. I think it will also be perfect for like product uh, photography and maybe taking my Instagram pictures. I don't think it's going to be good as a vlogging lens because it is so zoomed in, you know. Um, and yeah, it's like a close up kind of a camera. So I do still need to buy my vlogging lens, which is why we're working hard. Which is why you have to click that subscribe button and support your girl. So yeah, man, it's been an eventful couple of weeks. First my birthday, then now reaching 10k and celebrating with the lenses. So what I need your help with is I want to do a 10k giveaway. The last time I did a giveaway was when I was at 500 subscribers, which was, I think, a year and a half, two years ago. And now I'm on 10k subscribers and I want to do a giveaway. So my idea for the giveaway was to do a box filled with the things that I like. Uh, maybe a hyaluronic serum from like things that I use, the things that I recommend to put that in a box. The hyaluronic serum from the standard beauty, um, sheet masks from simple, um, something for the hair, you know, like put in things that I use to the value of a thousand rands because that is 10% of 10k and you know I believe in tens. So yeah, so the, the gift box will be to the value of a thousand rands. But if you have other ideas on what my giveaway should be, please let me know in the comments and we can put something together. I'd like to do it as soon as possible so yeah i would really really appreciate your comments so today is a thursday guys and this weekend is going to be quite hectic for us we are leaving tomorrow to go to Joburg. um there's something we're attending this weekend there and i have wigs i have i think seven wigs that i need to prep because i need to go and courier them tomorrow i was supposed to have done it a long time ago but work has been so hectic and yeah man it's just been busy 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 so what i'm about to do is i'm about to get these wigs ready for shipping so tomorrow during lunch i can go to the shops and like pexy them to the rightful owner and yeah man these are just client wigs and then there's one wig that is mine that i sold to sustandi so yeah that is what we are doing but i'm living for this lens oh my gosh like our makeup tutorials are going to be, like our chit chats are going to be, my product photography, the reels, the unboxings with this lens, child. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you for every subscribe, every share, every comment, every positive criticism that has ever come through to my DMs. Thank you to those of you who come back every week and watch me for not skipping ads, you know, because my channel is growing, you know. I am doing so much, like I'm buying equipment, um, 
I started YouTube in 2020, right? It's 2022. I started in April of 2020. Um, I got monetized in June of 2021. I reached 10K in July 2022. So every year there's a very big milestone regarding my YouTube channel. And I'm so, so grateful for it. I could never have done it without you guys. And yeah, this giveaway is just like a token of my appreciation. Like I wish I could do something for each and every one of you that supports me. But you know how competitions are, only one person wins. But you all have won my heart. <laughs> you all have a space in my heart. And I was laughing the other day, like when I type out or respond to your comments in the comment section. My phone literally has so many of your names saved. Because I just start typing the beginning of the name. And like autocorrect can fill in some of your names. Which is so incredible. Like you're part of my life. Like you... Your people I talk to on the daily in my DMs. Your people who pray for me. And I'm so grateful for that, you guys. But let me stop rambling. I have about an hour and a half before dinner. And I need to get this done. So I will see you guys. I think probably tomorrow when we're on the road or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, and I need to get this these curls defined if I'm wearing this wig tomorrow. But yeah, loves, I will see you in the next <laughs> that is the next one. I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Bye for now. Are you excited? Yes! You're happy to be outside the house? Yes! Driving in the backseat What's left of me? Drowning in what feels just like an ocean Negativity is getting closer How to keep the heat when it gets colder You know Sometimes everything just gets hard Sometimes everything just gets harder This friends forever. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Okay, time for bed. Say goodnight. No. Why? Because I want to take a channel. <laughs> you want to take a channel? Yeah, and just say cheese. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the food. Amen. Amen. Okay. I can eat now. Okay, yes, you can eat now with this. Chips. Up to blow it. Is it hot? Up to blow it. You have to blow it? Yeah. Okay, you can take a bite. Is it tasty? Look at mama. Is it yummy? Yeah! <laughs> Hey loves, welcome back to this vlog. I just want to apologize. You can't even see me though. You guys can't even see. I do not like this lens for vlogging. Okay. Hey guys. So I just want to apologize. I've been really horrible at vlogging. And I'm going to explain to you guys why. But yeah, I've been really horrible at vlogging. I've also not have like been taking content. It's really busy at work. And... There's so much going on and, you know, like I'm tired all the time. So I really haven't been paying attention to my content. But also I've been feeling like 
um, YouTube is now a job for me and it requires so much like it's no longer fun so i'm trying to find that fun again because i honestly used to enjoy creating content but now i've been treating it like a job and a business so it's not fun for me anymore so i need to get back to that fun place because now it's become tedious and i also feel like i've been doing the same thing over and over like i'm craving change i'm craving excitement to my content and things like that and that is why i've just been like away i've also been trying to rest because yeah the fatigue is getting to me but it's a bit better since i started taking vitamins and um, i'm back to working out i'm actually weight training i am so sore like every part of me is sore you guys know every time i pull out this little cap my hair looks crazy but i have an appointment with tato tomorrow and i'm going to film a wash day for you guys but yeah man please keep me in your prayers like to find that that thing that zeal i wanted to come back because honestly this was a first love more than anything it's not about the the money it's not about the views it's more about the women i connect with or the people i connect with and the relationships i've built over the years and i honestly don't want to throw this away because i feel like god is using me in a sense because there's so many people who've come back and said hey listen i've started therapy because you spoke about your 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 traumas and how you are going to therapy you know um i've spoken about how i got teased as a child and there are people confronting that and um i've spoken about so many things you know and yeah the conversations and the fact that um it has led to one or more people getting up and trying to do something somebody told me this week they started a business in swaziland and they are washing and caring for wigs and making some extra cash you know like honestly um i think the whole purpose behind why i was led to start doing this was so i could inspire other people you know it's so simple to think that to be a successful youtuber it has to be extravagant and you have to be going to you know diamond walk and buying expensive bags and partying and and not all of us can do that but also not all of us like that not all of us like to party not all of us you know so I think it was just for that, that I should show that being your authentic self and doing what you love or being yourself, somebody can relate to that and somebody can draw something useful from that type of situation. So yeah, um, I'm in the car again, as usual. I'm always in the car. <laughs> but yeah, I'm heading to clicks because I need to find the as I am... Um, what is it moisture hydration elation something um conditioner i heard it's very good for hydration and it has very little protein and you guys know my hair and protein don't go well together so that is where we are going and then i think i'm gonna go to pick and pay i need to get some blueberries some strawberries some bread um some milk for horsey i think oh no but i think he's gonna switch to um the lactose free milk that his dad and i use so yeah it's fine i don't need to get milk but some yogurt like things for the week because tomorrow i've got a wash day with tato and then i'm going to try and film um something when i come back from there as well and then i need to sit and edit but yeah man let me just go to clicks but i've been feeling very low uh, i don't know man i feel like i'm in a slump i feel like i'm stuck um and I don't understand why, because the achievements are there. I've just achieved 10K, which is amazing. Um, I've just got some a lot of paid work that I'm doing, like, <clears throat> that isn't on social media. But, you know, like, things are happening. And I think with me, it's kind of a toxic trait, because when I achieve something, then instead of celebrating and like relishing in that moment i'm already on to oh what's the next thing you know and obviously the next thing has to be bigger and better to have a situation i don't take the time out to enjoy and to celebrate and whatever and it's like so not cool but yeah but you guys can see my hair looks mad like my hair looks crazy I've got bags under my eyes um because this week wasn't good week for sleeping there's a lot going on at work pray for me guys like please don't forget to include me in your prayers please but yeah i will see you guys later okay i've been trying my best for a while trying to please everyone who's around me i've been putting on my fake smile even though i'm wasting time i don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just wanna go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in more in conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself on
Okay, guys. So I am in <coughs> the guest room. I just got back home, put on a t-shirt because I need to film a segment for um one of these big videos. I've got wigs. I've got two new packages. One from I think it's BH or BC Hair or something, and it looks like this. And the other one came yesterday. It's from I Royal Hair. This is what it looks like. So there's a third wig in the bathroom that I conditioned. And yeah, I need to find some momentum and get these reviews done. But let me quickly just show you. These ones are gorgeous wigs. I, I am not sure if I'm going to sell these ones. Um, because it's such gorgeous, 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 gorgeous hair. I might just keep them for myself. And yeah, man. Um... What I need though is like water wave hair. The next time somebody approaches me with a wig thing and they say I choose hair, I'm choosing water wave definitely. So this one is a straight wig. They were supposed to send me 28 inches, but they sent me 26. But nonetheless, it is a very good wig. Like it's so good. But I need to bleach the knots and I need to like pluck the hairline so it's more natural because the hairline is kind of dense but this is from eye royal hair and it is stunning hair i think and then this one from from um b bh hair um this is also 26 inches but this one is a body wave wig and it also has a very dense hairline, so you'll see if you can see these are the curls. Um, yeah, very full, very nice. It's got a bit of that factory smell to it, which is why I need to wash and treat it. But I do need to go in. These hairlines are so weird. But yeah, anyway, we're going to pluck it. It is also a frontal. And yeah, man, um, I'm about to get work, like right now, right this instant. But yeah, um, let me show you what I got at Clicks. So I got Vitamin Focusy. They're already that side. Then I got this Clicks Highlight Refill Kit. This is what I use to bleach the knots. Um, nothing fancy. This is... Oh, come on now. Yeah, this is what I use. If I can just get it to focus. To bleach the knots. So it's got developer and it's got the bleaching powder. Some gloves as well. And then I found it the As I Am Hydration Elation Intensive Conditioner. This is what it looks like, right? This is what I think the tub is small. I'm probably going to use this in like two wash days or something because the tub is so small, but it comes highly recommended. A little bit on the pricey side. Oh, no. Ooh, it smells amazing! Wow. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Like you could eat it. Mmm. Wow, it smells really good. Wow. I'm looking forward to wash data. But anyway, um, it's online. When I checked online, it was two seventy for this tub. But when I got to the store, they had a two fifteen sticker on it. And when I paid, I saw the two seventy, and I asked the lady what's going on because it said two fifteen, and she's like, "Oh, they forgot to remove it." And I said, "Good shot." Well, I'm paying two hundred and fifteen. Good for me. But yeah, it smells really good. Can't wait to try it. You guys will see it. And then I got myself a treat. A little balm on snacking it because I'm about to work on my wigs. But yeah, let me get to it. You see, I look I look like a crazy person. But that is why I'm preparing my wig. So tomorrow I get my cornrows done. Monday I'm not going to work. I'm staying in with Hussi. Tuesday is a public holiday. So that it's time to film these reviews and get them out. And yeah, man. I'll speak to you guys a little later, even tomorrow. But yeah, allow me to work also this lens that I'm using the new lens. I need to go fetch the other one because this one is a zoomed in one. And yeah, anyway, speak to y'all later. Hey y'all, um, welcome back. But I'm just here to say goodbye. So it is Sunday. I went to get my cornrows done. As you can see, clean cornrows. Kind of windy outside and it's causing me a throat irritation so <coughs> i'm just here to close off the vlog this is it for today's vlog 
this wasn't even like a planned vlog <coughs> okay so this wasn't even like a planned vlog um i put together bits and pieces that i filmed throughout the month and it came into a vlog i hope you enjoy it um I'm hoping I can get back into my routine and be consistent but I am going to make an effort I promise you and yeah let me know about the giveaway what you guys would like for the giveaway so we can put something together um, ASAP like as a matter of urgency and then also let me know what you guys think about the new intro do you like it what do you think about it um i thought 10k let's try something new but let me know in the comment section down below please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe i will see you guys in my next video